What up, Shadow DPS here on a Friday late afternoon, evening. Just got off of work. I'm gonna do some running around on my bike and uh, just wanted to say what's up. A lot of traffic out today. Just want to get out of this mess. And people going through red lights. Like it's nothing. What else do I have planned? Uh, just, just normal chores, really. And hopefully, I can get on a bike a little bit. There's a one or two group rides going on, so I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of that if I can. Uh, I guess I better take Interstate 10. These back roads are pretty uh, congested right now, being rush hour and everything. I'm not all that crazy about getting on I-10 on a Friday evening during rush hour, but got to make some progress, yo. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, don't even try it, motherfucker. Oh, come on, man. Let's go. The only reason why I'm this lane, the only reason why I'm in this lane is because I've got to exit soon. I don't know what this guy's doing. Is he fucking drunk or what? Yep, minor accident. See the cop lights. What a beautiful day, man. It's probably about 75, 80 degrees. Uh, it might be a little hot for this uh, leather jacket, but it wasn't hot this, uh, this morning. It was very cold this morning. Make sure people hear me coming. I know a few bikers who refuse to get on the interstate. They are absolutely terrified about driving on the interstate. I don't get it, man. I think the uh, surface streets can be just as dangerous. People pulling out in front of you. Of course, on the interstate, you get hit by a freaking Mack truck or something like that. get ran over by a bunch of cars but I think the chances of that of that are a lot slimmer I think the chances of that are a lot slimmer on the interstate compared to the back roads but yeah some friend bikers uh, some friends of mine who are bikers refuse absolutely refuse to uh, ride on the interstate they don't like going highway speeds. They don't like all the trucks, which I don't blame them on that. They don't like the fact that they're, you know, just pretty much out there. No, no way to bail out, really. So they are adamant about not getting on the interstate. Even if it's just for a little while, they don't want any part of it which I don't understand. Maybe some of you can help me out, but I mean, do you guys know of anyone, any biker friends or acquaintances who are absolutely adamant about not riding on an interstate? Whether it be during rush hour or on trips or, or what? Now I can understand taking the back roads on a trip and you want to take your time, check out all the sites, but from a safety standpoint, there are bikers out there who refuse to get on the interstate. And I just don't understand, don't understand it because I think, uh, except for times like these when it's like rush hour traffic, I think, uh, the interstate can be 
probably safer than the surface streets. Um, so, hopefully you guys can educate me on that. All right, let's see if I can get over without getting banged up. All righty. Good deal, good deal. Still alive. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, there's six flags in San Antonio. I don't know if you guys can see that. But six flags is right over there. I have yet to uh, check it out, but hopefully one day I will. And also, how do your passengers feel about riding on the interstate? I mean, do you have passengers who are also hesitant when you talk to them about taking the interstate as opposed to the back roads? I haven't had that, but I'm sure if there are bikers out there who are timid about riding on the interstate, I'm sure there's passengers as well. I can understand if you're new and you know it's easy to get apprehensive about certain things and definitely don't blame you there. But uh, I don't know I just think it could be a little safer than, than some of these ordinary roads. Yeah people laughing at me because I'm like I got my high-vis vest on today. I went in this morning, it was uh, kind of low visibility, so it's all good. Especially when the guy in front of me is an SUV and I can't see over him, can't see through him because they got the tinted windows. And there is Mr. Cool Guy with the Harley. Without the helmet. Did he have a helmet on? I don't know. And I'm all safety geared out. Yeah, so tomorrow there's supposed to be a ride out to uh, Willow City. And I made that ride last year and it was pretty fun. And there's going to be another ride tomorrow. So if I can get my taxes done or at least get to a point where I'm happy, then I might do that on the Super Tenere. But if not, I might just wait till Sunday and do a solo ride out to, uh, what is that, Wimberley, Wimberley, Texas. I heard that was pretty nice. Uh, check that out. See what's what. Out in Wimberley, take some curvy roads and uh, maybe take some photos. Get some breakfast or lunch and just uh, enjoy the day. 